Hey there, football fans. My name is Derek P. Fields, and this is the Gridiron Blitz. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because here we talk all things Detroit Lions. You know, as a Lions fan, it's pretty tough. We go through a lot of ups and a lot of downs, and we have had quite the miserable past two years. We hire a new coach after getting rid of Jim Caldwell, who in his last year went 9-7, and seven, to hire another coach who was unproven at the time and nobody knew what he was capable of as far as a head coach. Well, that brings me to the guy who hired him. Bob Quinn is entering his fifth year as the Detroit Lions general manager. After his second full year, he fired Jim Caldwell in favor of one Matt Patricia. Now, they shared some history in New England, but here's the point of this video that I wanted to make. I actually cannot believe I'm about to say this, but I have come to the conclusion that I respect one Bob Quinn. And I'm going to show you guys why I said that. I feel like there was a need in uh, change in the leadership of this team. And starting today, I'll be leading that search um, to hire a new head coach for the Lions. Why have I come to respect Bob Quinn? Well, Bob Quinn, when he hired Matt Patricia, there was something that was said that I think by the media and Lions fans, including myself, we kind of manipulated the words or we heard what we wanted to hear. And that phrase is the infamous nine and seven wasn't good enough. When you look at our record um, over the last couple of years since I've been here, you know, we didn't we didn't beat the, beat the really good teams, you know. Our record is uh, was above average, um, you know, nine and seven in the last two years, but our record against the better teams in the league has not been that good. Now, as you saw from the clip earlier, that's not what Bob Quinn said. Now, reading into it, that's the bottom line, but that's not what was said. I think there's games that we could have, would have, and should have won, and we didn't. Um, and you know, you know, this is a results business. This is wins and losses. We can talk about all the individual plays, all the individual players, the staff. We can talk about all that stuff. It comes down to winning football games and winning championships. So why do I respect Bob Quinn? This isn't a something that happened overnight. Last year, I made several videos saying it's how I, I trusted this man with this franchise. He did let me down by not securing a quality backup quarterback, and I, I don't fully know if Matt Patricia is the guy but what I do know is while I might not be able to fully trust Bob Quinn I definitely respect him Bob Quinn said that our record was above average and that we couldn't beat any good teams he was right the Detroit Lions in the two years that Bob Quinn was with Jim Caldwell went a mere one and ten against playoff teams and that's including the two times that the Detroit Lions went to the postseason in 2014 and 2016 under coach Caldwell I am very fond of coach Caldwell I think his character was high and he did win with the franchise while I not necessarily agree with the decision to fire Jim Caldwell and I'm not sure Matt Patricia is the guy as I stated earlier my trust is not entirely in Bob Quinn, but I do fully respect him as a man who was able to put himself out there with an actual win-loss total, saying that this was not going to cut it. That's more than I can say for the Detroit Lions franchise. Here we are, that Martha Firestone Ford simply said that we need to be in playoff contention. There's a lot of things that that could be. That could be that we just missed the playoffs. That could be that we it's seven spots now that we missed by two or three spots. We don't know exactly what that means. But what Bob Quinn did is he put a number. Nine and seven was above average, and we couldn't beat any good teams, which means, in my opinion, that anything less than 10 wins is unacceptable in Bob Quinn's eyes. And while he has made some blunders in drafting one tease Tabor and a long snapper and two quarterbacks who are no longer on the team he did put himself out there now with this 2020 draft pick and the fact that the detroit lions are tied for the fifth toughest uh strength of schedule in the league bob quinn can go a long way this season in gaining my trust as far as his ability 
to run an organization with the success of the organization that he came from. So Lions fans, let me know in the comments how you feel. Do you trust Bob Quinn? Do you respect the man or both? My name is Derek P. Fields, and this is the Gridiron Blitz. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so as we try to drop content every day. With that being said, everyone stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Uh -huh.